Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Uh, find the cosine of the angle between the vectors u and v. So it's asking for the cosine of whatever angle lies between these two vectors here, u and v. And to solve it, we're going to be using the following equation. It's going to be the dot product between the vector of u and the vector v, divided by the magnitude of the vector u. This is how we denote magnitude. It's also called length sometimes. And this, the magnitude of the vector u multiply the magnitude or length of the vector v. This will be equal to the cosine of theta, or the cosine of the angle. This is what we're trying to find. So let's go ahead and take the dot product. How do we do that? Well, we look at the first component, we multiply it to the first component of the other vector, and then we add it to the next one. So three times one, or three times one is three, then we do add, then it's gonna be one times four, that's four, so three add four, plus, then we do two, multiply three, that's six, so put a six here. Overall, this is giving me an answer of 13 on top. Now, working with the bottom here, we have to find the length or magnitudes of each. So to do that, let's, for, let's first focus on the magnitude of u. Well, how do we do that? Well, it's gonna be three squared, sorry, that's not a square, three squared, add one squared, add two squared. You square all of the components inside the first vector, and you add them together, and you take the square root of all of that. So what's this going to be? Well, this is also nine, add one, add four, which is five, and then 14. So the, let's put our end answer over here. So 13 over, and so far we're getting square root 14, because this would be a five, this would be a nine still. And if we added those, we get 14, so overall square root 14. So that's how we do the first one. Let's go ahead and start working on finding the magnitude or length of the V vector. So how do we do that? Same thing. So we have a one, four, and a three. So one squared, add four squared, add three squared, all of this being square rooted. That's one, add 16, add nine, which if you add it together will give you 26. So overall it's square root 26 because we're just adding the stuff inside the radical there. So and that's the other part of the formula. So notice it's being multiplied by the length of this. So it would be over here, square root 26. And this will give you a number that's going to be the cosine of theta. So cosine of theta, let's find out what that actually equals. Let me get on my calculator quick. So after I put that inside the calculator, I got an answer of 0 0.68. So now that's that's the end of the answer. So let's just for fun sake, figure out what the actual angle is. So we do that due to taking the cosine inverse or the arc cosine, they sometimes call it, of 0 0.68. So what kind of angle would that give? Well, again, if you use your calculator, you would get an answer of roughly 47 degrees. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you're having a fantastic day.